yes, okay, finally getting it to work. So there are many movements in history that we have been studying in Global Studies 1 and Global Studies 2. So there, um, there is thought and mindset behind these movements, behind this, these shifts over change. And history, as we know, equals change over time. So today, we are going to be talking about um, what is an ideology, right? What does that mean? Um, it's a prescriptive strategy for a society and its associated practices and thoughts. So for example, like what is a society based on? Um, how does the society function? How does it operate, right? So for example, if you think of academy, charter high school, as a society or as a microcosm of society. How does it function? How does it operate? Who runs the show, right? So Principal Holloway, A.P. Smith, A.P. Campbell, all your guidance counselors, um, your teachers, right? Everybody who kind of works in tandem with the scholars to make the society function so that the trajectory of the day, um, of the week, of the month, of the year, um, of the decade equals growth and, and progress. Um, okay, so there are many ideas and ideologies. Um, I know you've been studying, for example, uh, liberalism. So what is liberalism? It seems like we've been studying the, the, the ancient dynasties, said China, I know you've done um, Egypt, uh, I think you're doing Greece next. So, um, oh, in France, right. So, you just finished studying the French Revolution and um, obviously because there was a revolution and there was King Louis XVI with Marie Antoinette, uh, the revolutionaries, the, the constituents, the citizens had to they had no choice because they had no liberalism. They had no freedom. They had no rights. Uh, that's a, it was a totalitarian dictatorship or a monarchy, right? As Ms. Clifford and Mr. Muir call it, yeah, uh, and, um, Mr. Wizard. So liberalism, individual rights over collectives. So free market capitalism, minimal state. Okay, so what does that mean? So liberalism means that the people um, and, and the unit, they like the, the nation, the country, they have to work together. Um, however, the individual rights, like the person, like the, the woohoo, you, your rights count more than ev like everybody else's. Okay, so. Let me just say that again, better. Okay, so liberalism equates the rights of the single individual and or the single human being, um, more important, more valuable than the group or the unit, right? The country, because free market capitalism means that the government allows you as young entrepreneurs, um, businessmen and businesswomen, it allows you to compete, meaning, um, meaning there is no, how do I say, like you have to compete and it's kind of Darwinistic survival of the fittest. So if you want to get rich, you better come up with the best idea, the best business plan, the best stratagem. Um, what does that look like? How are you going to get people to buy into your idea, your business? Um, because if you don't get buy-in, if you don't get stakeholders, if you don't get shareholders, if you don't get funding, um, then the guy next to you who is just as eager and just as competitive, whatever his business proposition is, he's gonna get your dough, he's gonna get your cash. He's gonna get more people buying into whatever it is that he's selling. That's free market capitalism. 
where the government allows the people to duke it out. So you're allowed to be an individual. You have the right to come up with an idea that somebody else didn't come up with. And you have the right to sell it. You have the right to market it. You can even sell your own self. The government is not going to control that. They are leaving it. They are leaving that power up to the people, right? So during the um, during the French Revolution, they, the people had no power. So um, a monarchy, a totalitarian, despotic government, that would be in direct juxtaposition to liberalism, right? Okay. So we okay. Let me stop talking. Okay. Let's do socialism. Um, so right now. In the United States, just to be clear, we live in a representative democracy, right? So just keep that in mind. We are not socialist. We're not communist. We're not complete and utter liberalists. We do have a, a we, we do have a libertarian party. Like we have different political factions. Um, there are mainly only two, right? Democrats and Republicans. However, we are a representative democracy, meaning, um, you know how like people when they turn 18, they vote? Um, you can vote, but sometimes the, the, the most votes, like the, the candidate, the president, whoever's running gets, um, they don't win because there's this thing called the electoral college. And um, we, have, we have the legislative, we have the executive, the legislative, and the judicial branches. So let's say the majority of the people in the United States vote for somebody. Like in terms, in terms of numbers. Okay, so let's say we're at Academy High School and somebody's running. Oh my gosh, like Jesse's running for a student class president against Hannah. And Jesse gets the majority of the votes. Uh, imagine now each classroom getting a number of electoral college votes. So if Miss Rule's classroom gets more votes than Miss Bentivania's classroom, even though Jesse might have gotten more people to vote for him, Hannah might have gotten more classrooms that are weighted more in electoral college votes to vote for her. So then that takes precedence. So it's a representative democracy, meaning it's not a free for all, right? It, you can't, there's a, there's a checks and balances process. So if, if I elect Biden, if the majority of the United States elects Biden, but the states, whoever is running against him, those states hold more weight in terms of electoral votes, Biden doesn't get elected. So there's a, there's a check, it's called checks and balances. Okay, so socialism. Collective equality, opportunity, and access via wealth distribution. Okay, this is very important because we talk about this a lot, right? You talk about this in Italy, you talk about this in math, you talk about this in global. Okay. So what do y'all want? Do you want the individual to thrive? Like, do you want to be able to be the greatest, right? Like, let's see a song, the greatest, right? Um, I'm free to be the greatest, I'm alive, the greatest, right? Or, or should it not be about the individual? Should it be about the collective, the nation, everybody? So when I lived in Japan, this was very different for me because I came from this country. This country is a capitalistic country. We support capitalism, right? We are a representative democracy. We're not socialist. In Japan, they are, right? So in Japan, what does that mean? That means that teachers get paid the same amount as businessmen and um, there is no, di um, there is no pay distinction between professions. 
So minimum wage in Japan, if you work at Moss Burger, AKA our McDonald's, is 20 bucks, right? It's higher because you want to make the, you want to make the middle class larger. Why? Because you care about everybody. Your life doesn't just matter. Everybody's life matters. So in Japan, every morning at 5 a.m., in every province, in every, in every prefecture, everywhere, in every city. I was in Sakai, I was in Osaka, Osaka Ben, um, Sakai Higashi, um, Cho. The, there is a announcement, it wakes you up, it is so loud, it's, this is what they do. And it says, work hard everybody, get up and work hard and go to school and go to work and make your focus for Japan. You're not working for yourself. You're not working to have, buy a bigger house than your neighbor. You're not working to get a bigger, better car than so-and-so. You're not working to compete against your fellow man. You're working to augment everybody. Everybody, it's more, it's equal, it's more equal. So I paid like 35% of my salary in taxes to Japan but so did everybody else. And that's so every single person, man, woman, child, whatever race, gender, whoever you are, you have health insurance. So the dearth between the haves and the have nots is not, not as wide and as obvious and as gross as it is in this country where we are allowed to compete. So if I have more money than you, because I was born here and you just came here, too bad. I can send my kid to some fancy private school and you have to send your kid to um, wherever, some public school, tough on you. It's not equal here, right? So we have, so we have like wealthiest 1%, um, upper class, middle class, people who are living the lower class, like, like meaning people who are living below the poverty line. So in a country like Japan, for example, they care about the poverty line, meaning you don't want nobody there. You want the least amount of people to be poor because socialism speaks more to the human condition and the majority versus the individual. Who is you to think that you're special? That's, that's the motto in Japan. You work for the country, for everyone, every day, and you die on the job. So in Japan, I just because I lived there for a few years, um, there is no sick days, right? So I'm talking a lot, there's no sick days. So like our, our school, academy, they give us like nine sick days, 10 sick days. They give us sick days. Like you're allowed to be sick. <laughs> like in life, people get sick. So in Japan, there are zero for every profession. Do you understand? You know why? Because you're not allowed to be sick. You're sick, you better come to work. You better be dying. People come to work in Japan on the one to two week vacation that they get during the year. They come into work. You're expected to work. You live to work. You don't work to live. Do you understand the socialist perspective? But um, I, I was never living paycheck to paycheck in Japan, and I got paid once a month. Most, most, um, most countries outside of, the, outside of the United States are more socialized than we are. We are the capitalist superpower and we want to stay that way, meaning we want to be the richest, the biggest, the best, the loudest, the proudest, right? We have the fame, the savior and the fame complex. You can't have, like, you can't be like that in the socialist society. Um, and it's equal. So you, it's like you have less as an individual, but, but it's more, the middle class is the largest. And you know what? <sighs> They're getting it right. They are, they are doing something right because everybody should have access to healthcare. And a, a, 
free and public, purposeful, fair and equal education, right? We don't have that here. It is more equal there. So I may not have as much money in my pocket to go buy a Lambo, but honestly, what do you need that for? Like, use your legs. Like, we ride bikes in Japan. Like, oh my God, Miss DeVito, so, Miss DeVito, big booty, tiny bike. Like, like you know, um, why would you want, like, to drive in your car, your fancy car, and go drive and, like, have to pass a slum in order to get to where you live at? Like, that bothers me personally. I don't like that. It upsets me. It's, um, that's why I work where we work, because I don't, I don't like that in the city, like versus the suburbs, it's not equal. It's like, how do you not get education right? It's like, how, how do you, that's kids, that's kids, you know? You gotta, you gotta at least make that equal, right? Or pour your money into that, like get something right. In this country, we don't do that. In Japan, they, they pay, the, they, they, the teacher is equal to the corporate. The teacher this is respected because you're dealing with children. And that's, that's right, that's family. So that's everybody that speaks to the country. So you don't get to be king, right? Um, you can be famous if you have a good idea, but that's not the point of life. The point of life is to be your best self as per the human condition. Okay, so that means when you stand next to your fellow man, you better be able to look him or her, however people identify, y'all better be able to look him in the eye with the same amount of respect and value and self-worth that you have because you are, no, you are equal. There is, there is no, there is no separate but equal. Like you can't, can't be doing that. Mm -mm. No way. It doesn't exist. However, in Japan, they don't have diversity, meaning they, they don't, they don't have color. So it's a homogenous group because socialism does not uh, foster a lot of employment so Japan is with a bunch of old Japanese people and that's that's fine right but it's also not fine if they don't have jobs for foreigners like for um, for, for anyone who's living outside Japan because their country is socialist so for example I taught all Japanese children and adults so I uh, I, I need my black and brown, I need, I, I need, I need America's youth, urban youth. I need color, I need representation. Socialism can also isolate you in that respect. I've been talking way too long, I apologize children. I apologize. Okay, Marxist-Leninism versus democratic socialism. Okay, so Karl Marx and, wait, Karl Marx, what was his name? Karl Marx, I forgot the, the Lenin guy, J not John. <laughs> okay, so Marx, Marxism versus liberalism. You know, can we just skip this one for a second? We'll come back to Marxism versus liberalism because Karl Marx is a philosopher. And we are going to study. Um, okay. okay. So the Me Too, hashtag Me Too movement. Feminism, suffrage, it supported property, custody, health, homework, race, class, um, violence um, is also represented. This slide is not a good slide. Um, so, what does that, what, what, what am I trying to say here? Okay, seriously. Okay, so. Under Karl Marx, under Marxism, under Marxism and Leninism, you would not have a Me Too movement. Under democratic socialism, 
people, in this case, women, right? You see women, all colors, races, religions, um, they're allowed to mobilize and they're allowed to, as a group, make a statement against and or in juxtaposition to another group within the same collective, within the same country. I didn't explain that very well. Okay. So, so democratic socialism means that everyone has a voice. Marxism, I don't have my text here. This is it's so embarrassing. I don't have my selfie. I need to get my, my text. I'm sorry. So sorry. I apologize. Uh, okay. There's a lot going on with Karl Marx. Um, let me not, let's not go there. Okay. I'm sorry, I just have to, just have to check my facts. Okay. Okay, so I have the exact definition here because I want to get it right. So Marxism hyphen Leninism is an authoritarian communist ideology, which was the main communist movement throughout the 20th century. Okay, developed by the Bolsheviks, it was the state ideology of the Soviet, so Russia, of Russia, I'm so sorry, it's V.I. Lenin, I apologize. It's satellite states and the Eastern Bloc and various countries, I need a map, and the non-aligned movement and third world during the cold. Okay, so, how do I say this? It's been a while since I've studied this. So, today, Marxism Leninism is the ideology of ruling parties of China, Cuba, Vietnam, um, North, North Korea, yes, yeah. Okay, so Karl Marx was from Germany. V.I. Lenin was from Russia. He represented the Bolsheviks. Um, that was this helpful. So, so Marxism, Le Leninism spoke to communism, which means that um, there is. There is, there is no, you cannot have a voice. Everyone must share everything. Um, there is a ruler, though, and the ruler gets to decide what your freedoms and individual rights are. So, if we were... Um, if we were Russia or China or, for example, when I went to South Korea in Seoul, I could not fly to North Korea from the United States because North Korea doesn't get along with South Korea because North Korea is communist. and. We don't support communism. That's why the United States is always in combat with Russia. Because Russia passed the USSR, um, like they're red, like we have a red phone, the principal has a red phone, the president dials a red phone to call Russia. They are communists. China. Communist. Mao Zedong died in 1997. They're communist. What does that mean? It means that I just took my phone out and I went to the Google or the Wikipedia. You're seeing it, right? Can't do that in China. There's no Google.com. What would y'all do? Oh my God. Oh my God. There's no Google Classroom in China. 
<laughs> there's there's no Google Classroom in Russia. You you um you better do what they tell you to do. You 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 can eat, but you're controlled and you don't really have a lot of freedom. And so when I went to China, I, it was like silence. It's, it's like an eerie silence because the people don't have a voice. But for the cameras, because they don't have freedom of press or like news or speech like we do in communist countries, it's a stage. So the government controls you. But they claim that every single person living in the country is equal. But we know that under the law, under the law, we're all supposed to be treated equally. But we're all born different and unique. So that uniqueness is not celebrated at all. So, like, when I went to China, because I'm from the United States, because, and I was, I was going to China from Japan, um, they don't get along, right? So Japan is not communist. Remember we said that Japan is socialist. Okay, focus. Um, so I applied for a visa to travel to China so I could travel there and see how the schools worked and stuff. Um, to mainland China, so Beijing, Peking, right, right in the middle of Mr. Glazer's map, Clifford's map. Um, it used to be called Peking, the capital, right? The, c the city, the city. I want to be in the city. Um, I I had trouble. Like I had I had to wait, like a month to get a visa, and my friends from Australia, who were living working in Japan, my friends from New Zealand. We're living and working in Japan, you Australia, that concept. It's like down, down. Um, it's basically everybody, anybody else. Um, um, in, um, Britain, Great Britain. They got their visas for half the price of mine in like a week. And I had to wait a month because they don't want, they don't want you. We're American. From the United States, whether you identify as American or not, if you live in the United States and you're trying to go to China, they don't want you there. You understand? Same thing with Cuba. Cuba. <laughs> um, they're communist. We're democratic. We're we're capitalist. Democratic republic. That that means freedom. They don't want us coming to their country and to walking. Can't do that. <laughs> like, can't, can't do that. So, um, I had to, like, check myself. I had to check myself all the time. Check myself because I'm loud. You cannot do like that. You have to be silent. People, people look... <laughs> They look stressed and they look afraid. So for me, I witnessed a culture of fear and silence under communism. Um, uh, Hong Kong, Hong Kong was different, but yet the same because they, 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 Hong Kong is a part of is a part of China, and they oh, struggling in Macau. And they, in 1997, they went back to, they had seceded from the Union, and they went back to China. So, it was, diff it was difficult there. China was difficult because of the way that we were treated. Mm. Not because of, of whites, not because of color, mm. but because we talk like on the bus or like we're talking while we're shopping like my friends and I 
one one friend was Latina, Latinx from Australia. Another girl was white from Australia. Mm. Yeah, like the Nordic. And it wasn't that it was it was difficult there. The people will spit on you. <laughs> people will spit. On you. We're just walk walking and talking, and we think that it's normal. But you have to be in, you have to be silent. So people, especially um, men, they like what do you say hakalugi? They spit at you because <laughs> that's you're allowed to do that because we're we're not Chinese and we're free and we're we're being loud and we're being present and you really shouldn't be seen. Mm. You got robbed there. <laughs> Mm, had some issues there but everywhere you go you have issues right so you gotta you gotta leave your block to know like what's out there it's like but they jealous because under communism i get to come back here to, J to japan or to the united states i got freedom they don't have freedom and you see it like you see it like you see it in their face like like it's just it's not good like you, gotta, you gotta let people be free you gotta let people have a voice like just just like how in school in the class like if the teacher's the only ones walking like what what you doing what you doing like the 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 best classes right are where everybody has a voice yeah they might be the loudest and from the outside from the window they might look a little chaotic, a little rowdy, but that's a creative class, right? You know there's something going on in there because there's, some, there's dialogue, there's discussion. So you got a balance in life and society. So in our country, right, we try to balance all these things, competition, survival of the fittest, somebody who's going to be the greatest, fame, talent, uniqueness, color. What do you have to bring to the table? But also... How does that speak to, how does that, how does that speak to the nation? How does that speak to its longevity and its sustainability? Because I have a big voice, right? And when I go into my colleagues' classes, I have to be quiet because I want to be respectful because I want to hear their voice too and I want to hear all the different children's voices. So it's like I'm constantly checking it's more than whiteness that I'm checking, you know what I mean? It's that because, like, even though I, I, like, I have not had the plight of the black man, you know, of, if I'm not of color, I'm white, and, like, you know, there is, there is the systemic racism that is white privilege, you know? This is terrible, and it does exist. In order to come and... It have something to say and to be able to stand in front of y'all like black and brown children children of all colors but specifically the underdogs of society vulnerable population black and brown children they are they are the genesis of society yeah. and they are also the most uh, attacked they have the least right so I know I don't like that right but if I had never experienced anything that child went through what kind of teacher I want to be. So I had to get up my block because I, I'm, I, I know I'm, I'm white at the end of the day, right? So I want to come work and be with you and live with you and, and learn and laugh and, and love you. So I cannot just come with nothing because it's not your job to teach me. So in order to feel in the slightest bit how it would feel to be an outsider, to be marginalized, to be underrepresented, to be cast off, to be ignored, to be, to have to fight just to walk down the street. I had to go to, to these countries to learn that. Because as a, a, a white girl here, that's, there's still, there's a, there's, a, there's a layer of privilege there. So it's like, okay, how, how's, how it feels to go by yourself with no money, Mm, but a, but a decree to another country where 
Nobody look like you because you like to eat. You curvy, have missed a meal, and you're loud, and you like you love children, and you feel that everyone should be celebrated and no one should be silent. How how I'm gonna do there when I have no rights? When I walk down the street, a man can do anything, and the police is not gonna arrest them because I, I have no rights at all because I'm foreigner. I'm um, and I'm intruder. So, like, you can't go shopping because nothing fit me because they don't have people like me. So, no one looks like you, no one talks like you, no one thinks like you. But you gotta live there. So, how are you gonna survive? So, I had to do that mm-hmm. for four for years. I had to do that because I felt that if I don't, how can I? Who, who am I? Who am I? to come and say that I have a right to teach um, in Hempstead High School in the, in, the, in the city, in the Bronx, in Jamaica, in Queens, in Manhattan, where I've taught. Like, what, what right do I have? Like, white is not right just because it's white. Like, what, what is it that I'm bringing to the table? Like, I have to, it's a privilege to teach in front of you. So I have to prove myself, you see? I cannot prove myself. I only stay to my block, and I only know my experience, and I don't know, and I don't know yours. I have to be able to sympathize, to feel your experience as well, so that I can, I can help, I can help to make the society better. How I'm gonna help to make the society better if I never been in a compromised position? You feel me? So, because I wanted to work in South Bronx, because that is where the the need, this is where the need is in New York State. Okay, so I'm in Jackson, Mississippi. That's where the 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 poor the poorest of the poor are. That's where that's the that's where I have to have to go. Because I didn't become teacher to work in some school that's cookie cutter, that just is in the same block as my parents. That like where I'm like I'm not doing that. I'm not here for that. I'm not just existing to exist to go in a circle. I want to make a difference because I want to make things better. But I, I better, if I say I have the answer, I better have it. I better have lived it so that I can, so that I can walk the walk and talk the talk and say what I mean to me when I say and not let you down. Because I'm not going to let you down. I will, I will die getting this right. I only love teaching you. I, it's my whole purpose. Um, in, in, other, in any other country, in, in the other state, I cannot teach you. You don't exist. You are rare and unique. So I want to be where you are. So thank you for having me. Okay, nationalism, self-determination, then a, a specified territory. Okay, anti-colonial. What did I? Um, ethno-civic ultra. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to break up this, these slides because. So nationalism. You know, um, so like the Patriot Act, uh, Donald Trump um, sorry to offend anyone. Typically, people who are Republican <laughs> or right winged, they're nationalists. Um, meaning, <laughs> wait, I hope I got this right. So, okay, so I, I think I, I think I got this right. It's like, it's like you only care about where, where you live. Um, I'm sorry, I have to review this slide. So why did I put that salvage, scrap, to blast? Okay, so this is, let me give you an example, I'm sorry. So this is a, you can see this is a biased, prejudiced ad. Um, it's an example. Uh, it is a real. It is a real example. Um, when the United States was recruiting for the military, for the Navy, this is one of their posters that they used, and the poster people that's Workers Workers Party America. Okay. So 
salvage scrap to blast the right so this word is um, derogatory it's a derogatory slur for a Japanese person um, and we we want to what do we want to do we want to bomb them okay fascism okay he's the last slides so fascism state leader superior group anti-democracy strength exclusion tradition right okay so in um italy during world war ii well and beyond yeah, they have they have they had um El Duque Benito Mussolini, who was a fascist dictator. What does that mean? It means it's a dictatorship. It means it supports only, only one ethnicity. Um, and it, it, everybody else, uh, they kill you, basically. So, in Nazi Germany, also, time of World War II, that dude, um, Adolf Hitler, from um, Austria, that dude, he was not only a Nazi and practiced Nazism, he was also fascist. Um, so when they, they do that thing, that with the hand, they're, they're signaling to Hitler, so Heil Hitler. So basically, you know, during World War II, um, uh, Hitler uh, killed over 12 million people. The Jews were targeted, so it was six million plus Jewish, innocent Jewish men, women, and children who were killed, not just in Germany, throughout Europe. Um, okay, and the other six plus million were um, LGBTQ. You plus of the of the queer community, um, black, Sp Latin, Hispanic. So basically, anybody that was not white with blue eyes and blonde hair, they killed you. And they felt they felt that was there was you know there was cleansing society. No, the society no 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 color no. Like, it's like ethnic cleansing. We actually, you know what, ethnic cleansing, not going to hold you though, just had to say it, was actually, it was scientists in this country that started that. When we saw what the Germans, what Hitler was doing, like taken to an extreme, we were like, oh no, abandon this. So, something's wrong with people in life, I'm not going to hold you. Like, <laughs> I don't know why people do these things. Okay, conquer we must for our cause is just. Religious fundamentalism, universal truth, rule of... Okay, so we have a separation of church and state in a public school. What does that mean? Y'all can, can pray. You know, like, sometimes I like pray. Oh my God, please, children, listen. Children, you know, I pray. Get 100 on that test, you know. Um... <laughs> Sit, sit down, sit down, get, that, get your points. Okay, um, we cannot be praying together. Like, I cannot roll up the class and be like, oh, everybody, today's lesson is called prayer. Let us all, you know, hold hands, sing kumbaya, and pray. Can't do that. I cannot put my religion on, on in a public school on children. Can't do that. This is a public school. Now, in our school, because I know you're going to ask, our school, right? Okay, Focus, Academy, High School, Academy Charter, High School, and Hempstead was started. It, its roots are from Calvary Tabernacle. So, if the church did a good thing and made a school for a community that was not being serve, serviced, right 
in the community of that which they lived. So we made a better school at Academy because we want to get it right. Why can't we teach the religion that, um, that is from that, that origin? You can't because we still respect that everybody, all children, all people, you can be whatever religion you want to be. You can pray wherever you want at any time, but no one is allowed to impart their religion on you. Like you can't be selling your religion to nobody. You know, so Muslim folk, Christian folk, um, Jewish folk, um, do be if like do you, but like do that uh, do that someplace else. Like don't don't be trying to recruit now, like because you're not saving nobody. We're focusing on the curriculum instruction and assessment and how we treat each other. I don't care what your religion says. My religion is called education. So I know you'll see me praying sometimes. It's it's me like I, I don't I'm not I don't really know the prayers. But I know about education. So my religion is education because my faith is children and that's how I live. So I'm not gonna live by somebody else's laws. I'm gonna res I'll, I'll respect you, but you better respect me too. So if you think you're better because of your religion, because somebody told you or whatever, some God or that's fine, but you need to keep that to yourself. I'm sure you're right. So it's education that teaches us to um, tolerate and accept and understand other points of view, but yet we can still learn and grow in the same classroom, in the same society without killing each other. Oh my God, you guys are so good. That's my last slide, thank God, wait, what is going on? Okay. So, um, I hope that that helps for your studies um, in global, global history and geography one, global history and geography two, um, participation in government, this, this kind of hits um, politics, ideas and ideologies. That's what they are. They're movements, you know. Um, they're inclusive of everything, but they're, they happen at certain points in history. And they, um, how, do they, how, how do they treat people? How are people treated? Are more people slaughtered like that? Silenced in poverty, right? depressed, annihilated by the end of the movement? Or is there growth? Is there, um, is there progress? Is it positive? Are we better? Right? So, mm, Black Lives Matter, that's a movement, right? It's a movement, right? But it should also be a way of life, right? Because if black lives don't matter, then nobody's life matters, like, right? Get it? So, it's like the Black Lives Matter, we, we, people, people, people was tired, right? But you scholars, the, the founders, people were tired of it, like um, it just being an idea or, well, we're, we're created equally under the law, but in society, when we walk the streets, um, they, they, they still go shoot us before y'all, like, just, just, just because we're black, so that's not acceptable, so people be tired of that, right, so they're, they're going to do a movement, right, because that movement, it needs to become a way of life, so that everyone's life is augmented, so that you live better, but it's not just for yourself, like, you're not just here for your own self. Like, you got to care about people. You have to have a social conscience. You have to give back to society. Like, if you don't have people, like, we don't have, I'm sorry, we don't have, if I don't have children, if I don't have y'all in front of me, okay, again, all children, but specifically black and brown children, okay, and, like, I, I, I'm dead. I die. I die on the ground. I die. It's like, 
Black lives matter. If you're not on board with that, then you're, what you're saying is that your life don't matter. Like, you, so you, you cannot say that one life is worth more than another. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. And, and it's, it may seem like, oh, well, it's obvious because we're in a city, right? In the Hampstead, we're an academy. Of course, black lives matter leave your leave leave your blog like oh my god like for example in texas because we'll make it past the airport there like i just i cannot like i it's hard to be in the city be urban be knowledgeable be locked be woke be be stood and say you leave your block, like even upstate New York, like Albany, Troy, Rensselaer, that's our capital. Oh my God, sign fire. Terrible, like, it's just racist and segregated and antiquated and backwards. And it's like, it's like, you go somewhere and you're bringing you you know what you have is is right, but you can't get people to where they need to be at because they're not there. And your words don't work. It's like, what do you do? How do you survive that? Sometimes you have to. You can't save them. You can't save them. You trying to augment their quality of life. If they don't. If they don't think Black Lives Matter, if they don't, if they don't care, if they don't have a social conscience, if they don't care about color, people, culture, language, if you only care, you know, about yourself, like that's that's a horrible life. I feel sorry for you because what do you have? But you don't know nothing, right? So there's an ignorance there, there. But but there is a. It is purposeful. It is malicious, you know. And and it, it is right around the corner. So in Texas, you know, we have so Black Lives Matter sign. They have Black Lives Don't Matter sign, bumper sticker, flying a Confederate flag, uh, like from the Civil War, like Robert E. Lee. Like, Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, I can't travel domestically in this country. Like, I hate, I, I hate going anywhere in this country. Like, I stay to the city. When we have vacation, I'm, I'm going to be right here with y'all. <laughs> because I cannot, um, get, like, I cannot get through the airport, like, Florida. Like, I'm going to see Mickey and Minnie. But I can't get through the airport because shenanigan foolishness of of prejudice and racism and and I don't want to wear the mask so I'm going to fight with with the flight attendant like like some some something's wrong like I can't can't I can't my um my my boyfriend from high school whom I did it for 4 years in high school like who I still talk to you can't make it up right um say like, I have a I have a huge home come you know <laughs> come down come at least come visit I'm like have you lost your mind he makes a lot of money he makes so much money right like let's say over a hundred thousand dollars and he didn't even graduate high school he is a genius he's brilliant um he is he looks white but he's Puerto Rican and white he was adopted he's a crack baby his parents died his dad was, was shot again in PR and then um, his mom died after she gave birth of a drug, of um, drug over, uh, drug over those. So, um, so, so, he's he's brilliant. He goes to um, casinos. He has no high school diploma <laughs> because our high school that we went to was a white high school, meaning it's like a lot of white kids and like one Latin or two. And like one or two black people, 
and um, that that doesn't speak to him. That doesn't speak to me either. But he, I don't I don't know how he 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 fought that system. Like there was a lot of things going on in the school that was not right. Um, like they fascists there. Like it's you you know something is missing when you don't have color, or when the few students of color are mistreated or when you just don't have a voice like something they, they got a lot of things right clubs and stuff but but if you like go to the theater club and the teacher like you're the best singer or something but the teacher is like well I'm not gonna put you in a stage because you're fat and you have black hair not blonde and you you don't you don't look you know you don't look um white enough and skinny enough and you know i don't want to be in that club i'm good so so he dropped out um he could not take it i remember oh my god i remember i remember um when he dropped out I remember I dated Ray Brown. Um, he was a uh, he was the only black kid in our school, and um, he was really cool. You know, he was awesome. And I come home one day, and my mom says to me, like something. She's acting weird. I don't I don't know. She's not acting right. I was a curvy girl. I was a big girl. I like to eat. And, um, you know, I wouldn't date, you know, I'm not, it, it, if, like, if you're a white man and you don't like that, I'm, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not looking to you. So, the school, she said that, she, like, said at, and she wouldn't talk to me, like, during the, she wouldn't talk with me. Like, she, she was home with her, she had two other kids, like, ten years, ten years apart, um, with, the, with the same father, the same man. So she was home raising them, and she said that in the middle of the day, she got a call from my best friend Megan's mom, and then the school call her, like, "What are you talking about?" I'm like, have, "I'm like, I'm a senior. I'm, I'm graduating. I don't even know what. Like, what are you talking about? The school call you. What, what are you getting? What's, what's the issue here? Like, what, what's going on?" Like, you coming at me and call me names and everything. Like, I, I'm not going to do that to you. So what's going on? Like, you know, bitch, <laughs> what's going on? She said that first my my best friend, no, she happened to be a white girl, Megan. Now her mom called her and said this, the school called her. She's like, what? What did the girls do? She's like, what did, what did Camilla Ann do now? What she do? Because I was real. I was loud. Like, I was considered bad. Like they were threatening to suspend me just because I spoke. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I didn't really care. Um, so the only class I like in the school is ELA. But it's hard to find a teacher. And one, one teacher at ELA, the global, oh, the global studies teacher, she left her block. She was good. The ELA teacher, reading, reading black literature. Mm-hmm. Like they tried to band up that the this the book was Song of Solomon by Toni Morrison. And the teacher was like, no, no, we need that. So that teacher was good. That teacher was good. That's about it. Everybody else is not good. Yeah. Um. So. Um, she said that the school said to my mom and to Megan's mom. I I, I don't know why to. That I cannot, I cannot go to the prom with my black boyfriend with Ray Brown. This is in um, 2000. In the year 2000, who, who, who does that? Does, I said, what are you, are you what? She said, did you try to buy a prom ticket? I said, no, not yet. She said, when did you try to buy? I said, I just told you I don't, I didn't try to buy the prom, prom tickets, $55 each is expensive. I was like, I was like, did I ask you for money? No. I was like, no, I, don't, I didn't buy the, buy the ticket yet. So she said the school call 
um, like not the principal, like the some 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 group of teachers, some group of racist people, like the other teacher, probably one of the counselors, like with the principal on the line. Um, in that in the school handbook, it is school policy that um, you have to. You cannot mix it. You cannot mix. Like, stay to your race. How is that your business? Who I go to the prom with? We, what are you talking I'm like, I'm like, Mom, what are you talking about? She's like, they said that they're not going to sell you tickets because they know that you're going with, with Ray Brown. I said, I said, you, the, you what? Like, I was like, you racist. I was like, that's prejudice. I was like, you're, are you crazy? You are you serious right now? She's like, they said that you cannot go. <laughs> so that if you try to buy a ticket, or if Megan tries to buy a ticket for you, for, for your boyfriend, <laughs> because he's black for Ray Brown, that they're going to suspend you. And then, like, they, then you they can't go to college. Like, I have a scholarship to college. I'm like, what are you talking about? I, so I said, um, she said, you, you can't go. They, m my other boyfriend, Noel, who I told you, who I told you about, who I was was with almost four years, right? But until he, he told you he dropped out, they called him. Like, they like unexpelled him. I, I can't make this up to come back to the school. So that I could go to the prom with him, I told you he looks white. He's not white, and so Ray had to go with a black girl because we weren't allowed to go with each other. That's so that's what so that's what they do during the day. So while you and I are t are learning and, and 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 making moves and writing and reading. That's what that's that's what those teachers that faculty that principal that's what they do. That's how they occupy their time during the day. Calling people's parents up. Scaring them, threatening on them, turning them into racists because they're not comfortable with a black, black, young black man going with a white girl who have been friends forever. Doesn't even make any sense. So because adults are uncomfortable, I couldn't go to my prom, but I could not go either. Like it kept, it kept going. Like I couldn't, I was like, you know, of course cursing like a few, you know, I'm, I don't need to go. That's, I'm, I, who, who want to go there? Like, die in a fire, you know? But I had to go. So, like, I didn't think of that until, like, like recently. <laughs> um, like, he called me, like, like, Ray. He's up in Buffalo. He's married. He has, like, 20 kids. But it bothered him. And... I remember it bothered no, because that wasn't right. It didn't make any sense as a public school advocating racism and prejudice for a prom, like a stupid piece of crap dance with some uppity food, with some dress that I can't afford, that sure don't fit me right. I just, I just. I, I'm, I, I'm good. Oh, but I can't stay home either. So, that was in 2000. Right. Um, that day, because my mother, I felt, sided with the school. From that day, I remember that day. I remember that day in May 2000 I said if if you if you agree with them like if you allow this and I I, I remember I was very calm I said I, I just want you to know that we're done because I will never look at you the same way because that's not how you raise me to be racist to be prejudiced and you allow some white ladies with less degrees than you 
would, who speak fewer languages than you to call you and intimidate you? You're my mother. You're my mother. Why don't you know better? I said, I'm ashamed of you. I'm disappointed in you. I said, shame on you. And she, and she was calling me all kinds of new names. I was a fat girl, you know. And I, I said, I, we're done. You know. And so from that day to now, I, I don't, I don't really talk, I don't talk, I talk, I don't really talk with her. I, I don't, I, I can go like months and not talk with her. She's the best mom and I love her. But, but you can't do, you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. You cannot, you cannot say that you are on the right side of the fence and then cross over in the, in the night like a sneak because somebody scares you. You can't do that. So I, I said, I, I said this, is, this is it now. Now we, we're lost now. I'm done with you. I said, I understand that you feel that I disappoint you and that you're protect. Get you, I, this, is, this is it now. If you allow this, if you allow this, And that, that is, that is that. So, I, um, I love my mom, but I don't have anything to say to her. I'm, it's, it's that real. You get it? She's a good, she's a, she's a good, of course, I'm not going to say anything negative about her, but I don't have anything to say. Because I don't forget because that was not the right decision. And if she if she felt scared or whatever, like <laughs> fix your face, like like that. You don't need to. I, I I'm I'm good. I'm handling that. That's my. That's I know. I know better than you. So if you since you don't know right from wrong, let me teach you. So shut your mouth. Sit in the corner and learn. You marry. You got two other kids. You don't work. Right? <laughs> you home all day eating. We, 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 we both big. I don't call you that, but see, I, I, I will rather be, I will rather be, like, I don't care about how I look. Like, eat everything, eat my food, be more, more ugly. <laughs> but I, I, I will want, I will not, I will not be racist, like, ra racist. Like, that's, that's, like, I'll die before somebody label me that, you know. I, like, that's, that's not, that's not, um, you can't do that. You can't do that. So, right, so, um, when push comes to shove and you don't do the right thing, um, it, it is epic and it, it affects, you know, you gotta do the right thing. It's so hard when adults don't get it right. And that's why I, 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 will, I will never, like I, I want to, I want to um, you know, always be in school with you because then I'll never stop learning. And I'll always be growing. And I won't get to that point. That point where somebody, some stranger, some strange, strange skinny white lady, just because she is uncomfortable, for, you know, has money, has power, has whatever. Like, I don't care. I don't want to ever get to that point. Like, I raised my kid to be, to be, to, to not be a racist, to be a good person, to, to love all people. I'm like, Mom, Ray's been to the house. You love Ray. Like, you love him more than me. Like, wh what's wrong with you? Like, you can't go. Okay. Oh, but you have to go. You can't stay home either. Okay. Right. So, it's like, then I just, I went away to school, and I, I graduated early, 
when I um, went to, to Japan, worked there for four years, traveled Australia, and then come come home, come to the city where I belong. So, and so, you know, it's my word is a. I say what I mean. I mean what I say. And um, I expect that same standard from others. If I don't find it in an adult, I'll find it in a child. Because I would rather die alone, doing right, getting it right, living right, being my best self, being the best human being, having an understanding of the social conscious and the, and the human condition, contributing to that, bringing us towards a utopia, not, not further into a dystopia. I'd rather die alone in the ground if, if I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not, like, I'm not going to settle for somebody or people who, they're not, they're not at that level with me. If, they, if you can be bought, if you can be, if you can be bought and sold, you a slave. If you can be bought and sold, you, I can't be bought or sold. I, I, I got nothing to lose. I know who I am. Like. I'd rather be dead in the ground than the mystery somebody than 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 say or act in a manner where my life is better than you. So the 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 person that if I'm with someone and they don't have that same standard, I'm not with them. They're not welcome here. Because they don't respect you. They don't respect life. They don't respect black and brown. They don't respect themselves. They they a slave. They can be bought. They can be bought. They can be sold. They a slave to the system. Good for you. Shine on you. You you didn't learn nothing. Okay. I'm gonna be here. You be there. Educate yourself. God bless you. Blessings and riches. I love you, children. Thank you so much. This lesson is so long. I hope this helps you. Miss Vita loves you. Oh, I love you. Um, okay. So the great thing about a video is that you can fast forward or silence me. Because I didn't mean for this to be that long. This was supposed to be 13 minutes. And it was not. Thank you, thank you so much for having me. I'll see you tomorrow in school.